Today we're going to go over triangle similarity and proportions. The question is, how could knowing how to solve similar triangles help you? So I changed it to be useful. Sorry, it sounds better that way. Um, you're going to use proportions to solve all of these problems. Um, so I'm just going to do three examples for you. Um, there are two basic types of proportional problems. Um, and one of them has two different types within that. So one of them is a triangle within another triangle. And here is an example word problem of um, what that would look like. So this says a ladder rests against the top of a wall. The head of a person six feet tall just touches the ladder. The person is 10 feet from the wall and four feet from the ladder. Find the height of the wall. So the very first thing that you wanna do is draw a picture. And this is what the situation would look like. So here's a picture of a person whose head is just touching the ladder. Um, we need to label all of the pieces. So the first thing it says is that the person is six feet tall. So that means that he is six feet tall. Then it says um, that he's 10 feet from the wall. So that means this piece right here is 10 feet. And then it says that he is four feet from the ladder. So that means that from him to the ladder is four feet. So the second thing you want to do is if it's a situation like this, where it's a triangle within another triangle, is to separate the triangles. And just in case you can't see these triangles, um, they're right here. Here's your big one. It's the wall and then all the way over to the ladder and down. And it does make a right triangle. Um, it doesn't necessarily always have to make right triangles for similar triangles, but this one does. Um, and then the second littler one that's inside of it is right here. So it's the person to the ladder. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to separate those triangles. And this is what that would look like. We're trying to find um, how tall the wall is. So this will be X. And then the bottom of this, um, if this piece is 10 and this piece is four, then the bottom will be 14. Now draw your littler triangle. The last thing you wanna do is set up proportions and solve, because we will use proportions to solve these. And the thing about similar triangles is that whenever they're drawn, they kind of set up their proportions already. Most of the time, Kids have trouble figuring out how to set up each of the fractions um, for your proportions, but whenever they're set up like this, this is your fraction. You'll have x over 14 and you'll have 6 over 4. Then you just cross multiply and solve. So um, some people have called this the butterfly because you look at it like this, um, 4 times x. 4 times x is just 4x, and then you multiply these, so 6 times 14, and 6 times 14 is 84. Then you just solve this simple equation, divide 4 on both sides, and x is 21. But you need to understand what that means and go back to the problem. Um, so it says right here, find the height of the wall. So that means that the wall is 21. And don't forget your feet. That's your answer. Now I'll flip your paper over to the back and we will go over the next two problems. Our next examples um, will show you what it looks like whenever you have separate triangles. Um, the steps will be still be the same if they're se separated. The only problem is you're not going to do step number two, which was to separate the triangles because obviously they're already separated. Um, there are two types of um, problems that you will see with separate triangles. One is where they use shadows to set up problems. So here is a uh, shadow example. So this says a father who is five and a half feet tall casts a 10 foot shadow. 
If his sun's shadow is six feet long, how tall is his sun? So the first thing you wanna do for any of these is draw a picture. So here's my situation. This is the dad with his shadow and the little boy, which we're trying to figure out how tall he is with his shadow. Um, you obviously do not have to separate these triangles. They're already separated, so we don't have to do step two. But step three is to set up your proportions and solve. And remember, they're already, um, your fractions are already there. You're gonna do 5.5 over 10 and then x over six. Now you cross multiply and solve. 10 times x is 10x, and 5.5 times 6 is 33. Divide both sides by 10. 33 divided by 10 is 3.3. .3. And what does that mean? Well, that's how tall his son is. So his son is 3.3 .3 feet tall. The next problem we're gonna go over is a mirror example. And here's an example of that. So here's our example. Elizabeth placed a mirror on the ground between herself and, the, and a building. So she could see the building in the mirror. It's actually the top of the building. You have to be able to see the top. Um, she was two yards from the mirror and the building was 10 yards from the mirror. If she is 1.8 yards tall, how tall is the building? So the first thing you wanna do is draw an example. Okay, so this is Elizabeth right here. She is two yards from, this is a mirror, this big black blob. Um, and then the building is 10 yards from that mirror and she can see the top of the building through the mirror. She is 1.8 yards tall. So all you have to do is set up your proportions and solve at this point. So the third thing that we have to do. Um, and we're gonna do 1.8 over two and X over 10, cross multiply. 2x is equal to 1.8 times 10 is 18. Divide both sides by 2. And x is 9. So what did we actually find? The building is 9 feet, 9 yards tall. This is the end of your notes. Make sure to go to the bottom and write your summary.